Oh, yeah. Look, we're, we're down in Mid-Ohio. I know that Here we are. Uh, apparently, some people had a long line to get in. I did not suffer that. I got the media pass for Cleveland Podcast. That was the Good Moto Podcast. Uh, sitting here, we've got camp pretty well set up. I mean, we have uh, pop-up fucking Taj Mahal. I think we're looking at at least six pop-ups here making this up. The wind has died down a little bit. We're having a good time. Everybody's just relaxing, having a couple barley pops. A love story.
around the bourbon area. Oh, 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 I'm in a Facebook group called Rare Hosses. Now you're about the rarest hoss I ever fucking seen. Bless me, Boozeberry. You're amazing! Oh, you're amazing! Thank you, thank you. May all your bourbon dreams come true. And remember, bourbon gives you wings. Come here. What are you doing?
Yeah, I'm right down here at AMA, mid, mid Ohio Vintage Days. Having a good time, sunny, beautiful weather, nice breeze. Uh, Bill's getting some medical attention. You'll probably hear a lot got, more about he that. He got the stitches. Is. I won. I said 10 stitches, two in, eight out, I think is, yeah, the, is yeah. the word on that. I think um, you're right. Uh, we decided to come over and try to get things rolling on the, the Swamp Shop booth. We've already moved some metal. We got rid of a couple of Viragos. We got rid of that Honda Express. We're making money and moving metal. Pretty good. What do we got on tap for today? Anything specific? I mean, this. I, I'm trying to do this. You know, to help Bill not have to come back with bikes. That's the, that's the plan. Okay. So we're just sorting through these and trying to get them running. And if they can run, we got this buddy running right here. That's a runner. All right. Figure out a price on that. What's a, what's a running buddy worth? 1200 No title? 800 Okay, that's what we'll ask for then. Yeah. What are you up to? Um, I, I like the shirt. Thank you. Yeah. My buddy my buddy got it for me. Nice. Um, I went and watched Nick. I got oh, a whole bunch you. of dudes. Nick, uh, they waited five minutes before he started, so he followed the plug and just died in the first turn. Fuck it, mother of a But everybody was all into it. Everybody was trying to do stories and get pictures. He's going to be in a magazine at somewhere at some point, so good, it worked out. Good on you, Nick. Yep. All right, that's it. Drive fast and take chances. That's our update. Hey, we're here at Mid-Ohio 2022. Holy Shoot. fuck, who is this guy? AMA Vintage Days 2022. God damn Aren't we having fun? Uh, I just made up. a lap of the barrel races on the Malaguti 49cc Yay. F10 Whap. Yeah, that's it's probably uh, pretty greasy out there. It's really greasy. Uh, the whole right side got greased a little extra. So, uh, yep. So that's a thing that happened. Nice. And uh, it does. Rem it's go it goes through the really deep mud puddles better than it should with the little slicky tires. But yeah. I got them aired down uh, to about 14 psi. A little better contact. Well, you know, by not riding it over three years, they just kind of settled into that perfect psi. Yeah, you didn't have to air them up. You just left them. I took it and put some 93 octane gas in it. Uh oh. After I took about a gallon of the other gas out of it. Yeah. And I put him into one of the scooters up there at the swap meet. So there whoever's going to buy one of those get you know nice fresh tank of gas. A little bit of kerosene. Yeah, oh, good for you. But it's fun. And uh, I went through the swap meet and I didn't buy a damn thing. No, you haven't seen anything that really caught your eye. It's all kinds of stuff that caught my eyes and nothing I'm bringing home. Okay. Yeah, I got enough crap at home. And the people though, if you walk into the, our swap meet booth, the second you walk into the swap meet booth. What I realized is somebody's going to talk to you because there's perpetually people in there ogling the Trail 110, you know, yeah. oh, they make two Vespas in the one or whatever. And it's the best thing having a booth there with phone numbers on it and not actually being in the booth. Because you got to be serious. You're not, you must really want to buy it if you're going to pick up the phone and call somebody exactly. to talk to. Exactly. Right. right. You're not just going to be like, well, you know, I saw one of those in the 30s and whatever. Uh, so it is it, that having that extra step of making them make my phone ring is pretty nice. I like yeah. that. Weedles cool. out the, uh, the hunters from the true buyers. But well, we've been pretty successful in on moving metal. Man, we brought we brought like eight bikes that don't run, and now we only have like three bikes that don't run. So John's nailed it. Dustin and John were laying on the ground over here, and they were just feverishly stabbing things with screwdrivers and threatening things with wrenches. It's great. I had thought about trying to make another go at it, but then after the rainstorm and drinking a bottle of mudslides, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. lost some of my steam. I have Sorry. definitely lost some of my energy. That ambition. What, what happened to the mud bike that John got running? <laughs> well, yeah. so here's a tip from Yankee Phil. As fate would have it. If your motorcycle has a seat on it, Leave the seat on it because uh, the seat's there to protect you from all the stabby bits that are underneath the seat, and there's a lot of stabby bits underneath the seat. Yeah. So it turns out if a motorcycle sits for three years, the clutch is going to become what we call biblically fucked stuck. What you and know what? I, that bike is so new. I almost it never even crossed my mind right. that, that the clutch would be stuck in that. I right. mean, I'm used to old bikes. It's a like modern that. Sherco, you know, two-stroke big displacement, you know, trial, trial street bike. But boy, when she lights up, as soon as I put it in gear right here, I realized there was really no turning back. The bike wanted no part of it. Couldn't I could, get the clutch on I could tell, because it, it's a, you know, like you said, it's a trials bike, so yeah. first gear is in the basement. Yeah, yeah. It's first, so low. First gear is back. Yeah, he, 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 good well. Wellers. He 
he kicked it in gear and I saw the, the back wheel just spin. He, even, you know, he had to clutch it and then off he fucks. Yeah, yeah, it was not pretty. And so after several laps of not being able to get the clutch free and wheeling it and doing everything I could. Yes, you do. You hold the clutch. And all just, the gears. And just give it the beans Cane and it. just keep going, grab Cane it, do it, do it. And eventually. And I thought the up. heat would help. That's a good thing. You usually get them good and warmed up a bit. Get, you know, get the lubricants lubricating. And it didn't work. And some guy's backing a trailer up. This old Coleman pop-up camper, you know, street value of at least $93 and backing it right up. And I came around the corner and he was backing up and I was my spot and I was like, okay. So I grabbed the clutch that didn't work. I did instinctively, I kicked it down into first, well, neutral. Yeah. I tried neutral. And then Went what, right past it. And then what happened to uniform controls? Right. Thank you. Where oh, is the kill shit. switch? I went for the kill switch and there was no kill switch. And I remember the goddamn French had put it over here and it's a trigger kill switch. Oh my god. Now that's that's a motorcycle crime. Because I could have I could have really got hurt. Instead I just got a, a double secret vasectomy. I think so I'm, I'm suing Sherco. Yeah, Sue Sue Sherco. Sue the French. Uh, but they did I did uh, crash into a trailer and broke the trailer. And then uh, that hook that holds the seat on looks like about yeah about a quarter inch steel angle. Uh, uh, that went and missed my butthole by three inches to the left and maybe two inches down. Uh, but it got right where your thigh meets your butt cheek, and that's a real important part if you ride motorcycles. Down through the chicken fat. Oh, it got a good a little. They, of course, all my friends rushed over to help me. Yeah. I had to crash the bike in here because nobody would come and help me, so I had to. Prepare for a soft landing, lock the front wheel up, and tactically crash it behind John's camper. I heard it rev. It was like, Wah! oh, it was it was it was a mercy killing on its best day. Like, it wouldn't oh. shut off. I'm like, some dumbass dumped their bike. <laughs> right on. I walked away from it. I'm like, I kept waiting. I'm like, nah, somebody else will get it. Somebody else will, get it. you know. Yeah. She almost knocked me over. I mean, I yeah, almost it. knocked you over. And so the, my real friends came over and took there pictures of the wound. Before cleaning it or helping it or dra applying direct pressure or what? butt tourniquet or anything I else. mean, we figured, well, look, because I know you're not the type to want to go to the hospital. No. So I'm like, we need to document this so he can see what he's right. got going down here because he's just going to try to be like, ah, fuck that. Hey, hey, hey. And in retrospect, you're absolutely right. In retrospect, it made all the sense in the world. And yeah. I didn't appreciate John flicking pieces of pill at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, I don't need to go to the hospital. And he's like, there's a piece of your meat on the ground in the in the back of the trailer. You should have ate it. You said you're a vegan, but it's okay if he consents. Right. 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 But I didn't expect you to flick it on me. Yeah. Right. Ooh. <laughs> little clock. So clock. I did. I they, they taped it up real nice, and the next day I went to the hospital and got it all stitched up, all proper now. You said the doctor said the guy who did it must yeah, have been a medical professional. The guy said, he goes, this is it. <laughs> what he said was, this is a pretty good field dressing. And he goes, now remember, you're going to have to keep it clean for the next week or so, and I said, yeah, right, sure. No smoking, no drinking. Yeah, you got a light? Cool, we're cool. And uh, long story short, you got a bunch of stitches. So I got two stitches on the inside, eight stitches on the outside, and... Uh, I called it 10 stitches. You nailed it, 10 stitches. The, you, the two on the inside were sneaky. So, uh, it, was a, it was an overall humiliating experience, I gotta say. I was amazed L about the Laying on your belly while somebody stitches up something that's that close to your butthole. Yeah. So what's good. on the agenda? So when I was managing you up, I was that close to your butthole too. Yeah, I know. But we're friends. I'm like, yeah. can you hold this thing up? I can't get it. <laughs> in a way, wrapping it around. <laughs> I didn't want to tuck you in. But but yeah. So anyway, if you're gonna go to Mid Ohio, don't go test ride your motorcycle until you put seat back on it. Little tip from your uncle Phil. But aside from that, Mid Ohio is awesome. I love it. You get it, yeah. 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 Oh, right. it's the fat cat. It's our buddy Chris. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So what's on the agenda for the last night? Oh, last night's always real mellow. We try to take it slow and easy. Uh, don't really want to work too hard on the last night. So I'm getting hammered. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. I've already figured out which bike I'm going to crash later. <laughs> I'm sure it's the Malaguti. I'm certain it's the Malaguti. I'm absolutely the, positive. The bike you once described as a piece of moving art. It is a piece of moving art. The it is, WAP. It is the WAP. Uh, the F10 WAP. I mean, WAP, WAP, WAP. It is the piece of moving art. It's gorgeous. I've had that bike since it was brand new, imported to the country in 2002. Uh, 
So, uh, yep, one of my customers was nice enough to bring it in for service 20 years ago and not pay their bill. Yep. And it's been waiting for him to get out of jail and pay his bill ever since. So, go figure. More that life welcome. sentence must be a bitch. More than welcome to come pick it up. Right. Yeah, he's more than welcome to come pick it up. The bring storage it. is going to kill you. The storage fee is going to be a little overwhelming. So, yeah, but that's it. I think that's our plan for tonight. It's a good time. They'll probably get the guitars out at some point. That's been nice having you guys... All the guitars popping out. Yeah. It's very cool. Thank Loving you. Loving that. Yeah. And again, Misfits here. We got Nokomoto here and all the other Patreons, podcast listeners show up out of the woodwork. For it. It's been like, it's I can't believe great. how many people have stopped by to visit us. I'm yeah. like, hey, Johnny Mac. Hey, yeah, it's hey. been great. It's been super cool. Yeah, we've been having a blast. So if you're not here, you'll be here next year, won't you? Yeah, I agree. Rock on. Right fast. Ride fast, take chances. Blah, 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 Calm blah, before blah, the storm. Blah. We took a little tent damage. There's the cables. There's naked Oscar. Oh, that was a bit of a storm. Oh yeah, we'll have to fix that. Oh man, what is that on the window there, John? Lots of rain. Lots of rain. So finally, Mud Ohio has hit us. Yes, and hit us hard. Yep. Mm -hmm. We Epic almost had another pop-up pop up apocalypse, but yep. uh, a pop -up I'm sure some people lost theirs, but we kept it nailed down. We ended up having to pop the corners off just because we couldn't save it. Yeah. We yep. Better to get wet than to lose our pop-ups. Yeah, I have some bendage, but I think uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make it through the weekend. We're hunkered down in the Conquest 1988 Chevy Cavalier. John, you don't you don't play. You're a baller. When you show up to Mid Ohio, you bring the finest quality RVs that money can buy. Oh well, yeah, that fourteen hundred dollars can buy. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, though, fairly nice RV. Uh, yeah. And we got a naked Oscar, so we got a little of that going on. Well, some <laughs> <laughs> with the, the you, are you gonna blur out <laughs> the nipples? <laughs> Come on! Yeah. I tell you what, I feel really great after that storm. A little bit of shampoo and everything. And <laughs> I, I, well, I was trying to get, I was trying to get you as so. What you didn't know is that John was thinking this is a time to finally shower, and was like just out washing his hair, doing whatever. <laughs> I was gonna film it, but then my tent started to explode, and so we had to run and do shit. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> you missed seeing me with my shirt off. Yeah, shirt off, <laughs> lathering, lathering his hair in a rainstorm. But to make up for it, here's Oscar naked. Yeah, Woo! romantic aspect. <laughs> All right, we got Ooh, Timmy. What's up, buddy? Big here. What's going on, sleepy? Nothing. So what do you got going on here? Dude, I got an '82 185 S ATC. You gonna get you some out there on the the mud track? Yeah. I'm just trying to have a little fun here and finish bike this. Hell yeah. It's my time, brother. Hit it. Go get some. I want to see you sideways. Spectacle we just witnessed. Oh, I gotta tell you, 
We saw a new entry into the world of AMA Vintage Motocross today. Moinkan has hit the nation by by force. I gotta say, he's a real up and comer. Uh, hits the track at a young, young 35 years old. Former, actually, Pakistani champion, motocross champion for Pakistan. I, he came out today and really showed the guys a thing or two. Not such a great hole shot, but he's really bringing it up on the end. Got through some real bad ties up in the beginning. Eight or nine guys went down. Somehow Moin filtered through it, I gotta say. Somebody's really shining, the sun's shining on Moin today. Really rocking the free world out there. So happy to have him part of AMA Vintage Motorcycle Days. Yeah. Back to you, Skip. <laughs> Alright, you finished. How do you feel? Oh my god. It feels like this was my first race ever. This was brand new. <laughs> Guys were so fast. It was so amazing. Amazing learning experience for sure. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, hey, buddy. Give a big smile. What's up guys? Hey, heading home from Mid-Ohio. What a fucking great weekend. If you weren't able to make it, you guys missed out. This year was probably the biggest Mid-Ohio I've been to in a long fucking time. Um, everybody made it through without dying, which is awesome. Phil might have uh, impaled himself a little bit and has a new hole in his leg. Um, you'll hear him talk about that in the episode. But uh, yeah, man, what a fucking great four days. Uh, so many friends from around the country came and said hi. A lot of podcast listeners came and said hi. It was awesome. It was awesome meeting every single one of you guys. Really made my weekend um, to hear that somebody actually listens to our barblings and ramblings and stupidity. So just want to say thanks to everybody that we met. Thanks to everybody that brought us bottles of booze. Thanks to everybody that came and sat down and hung out with us at the tent. Uh, had a great fucking time, man. So until next year, that was Mid Ohio 2022. And man, was that a fucking fun time. So, we will see you guys next year at Mid-Ohio if you haven't been. And just because you're in Europe or somewhere else doesn't matter. We had a friend from Pakistan. We had a friend from England. We had all kinds of people come and hang out. So, there's no excuses. You guys got to get your butts there. All right. I'm tired. I haven't really slept in four days. So, thanks, guys.